Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Well Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Cars um, and as the title of the video suggests we're out in the GT4 which has had its first modification. Now eagle eye viewers might have already spotted it, you might be waiting for me to tell you what it is but either way I'm really excited about it and I think it's something that probably a bit predictable for a GT4, most people seem to do it but it really really improves the car both aesthetically and practically but we'll get into that in a little minute okay so as i mentioned you might be able to see it from this angle and the reason for that is that it's the wing riser kit which effectively just raises the rear wing of the gt4 up by three inches now as you can see that really really improves the aesthetic look of the car makes it just a little bit more aggressive from the back makes it look like well, I think how it should have come from factory. And yeah, really, really pleased with the outcome. So, why the wing risers? Well, I saw a couple of GT4s late last year, um, which one had an RS Envy kit, um, which is just a company that makes this kit. And the other one had the exact same kit that I've got on here, which is made by a company called Ren Technic. Now, essentially all the kit does is lift the wing up three inches. But when I saw these cars last year, couldn't believe how much of a difference that makes but just to the look of the rear end because you know it's a GT car at the end of the day it's a GT Porsche product it needs to be aggressive you know when you look at GT3 RS even the new GT4 RS the wings are instantly recognizable um, so when I saw these with them on I just fell in love with them instantly so when you actually install the kit you have two positional options so I went for the more aggressive of the two and basically it, it's how much tilts on the spoiler so you can you can have it in the more tilted option like I have which A gives it more downforce and B makes the back sit a little bit higher so it looks much more aggressive well from your angle I suppose from the back and from low down um, or the second option is to you know flatten it off have it a little bit lower now one thing to note is that when it is in this more aggressive position you have to make an adjustment to the aero at the front which is underneath i think the the front wheels um i've not done it yet but it's definitely on my list of things to do so like i was saying there's two benefits to the wing obviously number one is the downforce and how aesthetically pleasing it is to see the wing a bit more higher and more aggressive but the second thing is practicality and it's probably the only little bugbear of the gt4 is that the the rear visibility is well it's fairly poor i mean you've got you haven't got much window to look out of and then you had the old wing running straight through the middle and by actually lifting it up three inches the visibility is honestly so much better and when when i originally saw it on the website improved visibility i thought mm, they're clutching at straws of it here but honestly it makes a huge huge difference so yeah couldn't be happy with them guys um i mean the way that that actually looks from the rear now how aggressive it looks. It looks like a proper GT car. I'm so, so happy. Um, and the process was relatively straightforward to install them. Uh, Mike from Mike Mars and Photography came over and helped me install them and actually videoed me doing it. So I'm gonna do a little voiceover now of the of the process of installing it, show you guys how, how easy it was. And it was easy. It was a little bit tedious at times, but we got there um, and neither of us are uh, claimed to be very mechanically gifted. So uh, so yeah, let's jump to the voiceover and I'll, uh, I'll show you how easy it was to install. Okay, so opening up the box from Ren Technic, you get this lovely um, detailed instructional guide. Step by step, just make sure that if it is your first time installing, like it was for us, tells you what you need and how to do it to get the best results. 
Then looking in the box, you have the two base plates for the wing risers. So these are held on by 3M tape. They've got the Ren Technic logo on um, and real, really nice, nice bit of kit that goes to the bottom. And then you have the left and the right base plate. So getting them out of the box, they were well packaged in, but as soon as you get them in your hands, you can see the quality and I was delighted with them. So onto the boot, popping off the little plastic covers. Underneath that is like a sticky pad. It recommends using a heat gun, which I did. Just softens the glue, makes it easy to get off as the seam. What that does is it exposes the bolts to get the actual wing risers off, but before that, you have to take the top bolts off that actually attach to the wing. So there's two on each side, they're held on by T30 screws, um, and you need obviously two screwdrivers or ratchets just to take it off. Here I am removing the spoiler, couldn't believe how light it was, as you can see I was quite amused at that. Uh, then these were a bugger to get off. You again using the heat gun trying to soften the glue so you could actually pull it off up over the base plate. That then lets you take the three bolts off which then removes the actual uh, upright from the boot. As you can see quite a lot smaller than the new Ren Technic ones. So just installing the Ren Technics into the same holes, reusing all the OEM bolts putting the new base plates over before you attach the wing, otherwise you won't be able to get them on. And then just a test fit of the wing, happy with that, checking out both positions. And then it's just a case of redoing your steps, doing up all the bolts, reusing the same sticky pad on the side, and then putting the same plastic piece over the top. And honestly guys, real nice simple process. Love the instructions, makes it nice and clear, and I'm so, so happy with the results. Check these out. So there we have it guys, the first modification on my GT4 is on, it's complete and I really couldn't be happier with it. Um, big thanks to the guys at Ren Technic, they did help me out a little bit on the risers and it's it's much appreciated and I'm, I'm so happy they did. And I'm telling you now, if you've got a GT4 and you've not done the wing riser kit, then get on the website, get it ordered and I promise you, you will not, you will not regret it because it's just, it's, well, it just transforms the look of the car but anyhow. Enough for me waffling, go and get it ordered. Uh, and if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button. And well, with how successful the first mod's been, I think it's gonna be a slippery slope from here. So thanks for watching, enjoy your day. See you later.